Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meat, and in this uh, quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can uh, replace objects uh, really easily. So let's just get to it. I've got a uh, scene set up here, it's just a room with some lights, and I've got a null full of this grid array of cubes. I basically created a grid array with a cloner and then made it editable. And I've got these three objects here. I've got a buckyball, a figure, and a sphere. Now I'm going to replace some of this uh, grid of cubes with uh, one of these objects. So let's have a look at how we can do this. So I'm going to select the first 10 cubes. And then what I'm going to do is go to the character menu at the top here, go down to commands, and then we've got this replace with. So if I click on this, I can now replace some of these cubes with one of these objects. Now I can actually select it from the viewport or I can do it from the object manager here. So I'm going to do it from the viewport. And if you click, you'll see that nothing happens. You've got to double click. Okay, so let's double click on this buckyball. And as you can see, the cubes that I had selected are now replaced with this buckyball. But you can see that they've been smoothed. So the fong tag hasn't been carried across from the buckyball. And you can also see they've retained their material as well. So I'm going to go back and uh, I'm going to, so I've still got my cube selected. I'm going to go back to the character menu, commands, and down to replace with. But I'm going to click on this little gear icon, and then we can see some of our settings. So at the moment, what's being replaced is the object, its parameters, and the geometry, keep center, keep dimensions, all that kind of stuff. And it also removes our buckyball as well. It actually removes this object from the scene once these have been changed. So I'm going to tick off remove. And... What else do we want to keep? Here we go, we've got tags here. So if I click this on, it means that the tags that are on this, this object, so the material and uh, the fact that it's missing its fong tag, that will be carried across as well. So let's give that a go. As you can see, you've got all your materials there. And um, if we unfold this, you can see that it's just got the material tag. So let's choose the next the next load up to 20 and I'm going to replace these with this object here so back to character tag commands um, replace with I'm going to go to our settings again and uh, if I had any animation on this object which I don't by checking this the animation of this object will be carried across to the replaced objects as well so that's uh, something to bear in mind um, you can also carry across uh, what layer this is in here. So it will dump all of these objects in the layer of your original object. And you've also got the option to um, carry the name across. So let's check the name as well. And OK. And let's select our guy there. And as you can see, that's been copied across. Um, and we've got our tag on there. And if you look at the name, you can see that all these objects are now called figure as well. So that's it really, guys. I just wanted to show you a really nice, easy way to replace objects in your scene with uh, something else. Okay, cheers for listening. As always, you can um, check me out on digitalmeet.uk. Follow me on social media. There'll be links in the description. And if you want extra content and support Digital Meet, uh, there'll be a link to my Patreon page at the end of this video. Okay, guys, cheers. Bye.